Uh, Senator Gallegos, for what purpose do you rise, sir? To ask the author a question. Was, was Senator Ogden I yield? I yield. Senator Ogden, um, and uh, I like everybody else that appreciate the work that you've done on, on, on the finance bill and the, with the committee and the long hours you put in. Um, I have several concerns on the bill, but the, my main concern is the letter that Senator Shapley has in his hand uh, from Congress, and, and it just it concerns me that that if we pass this bill as, and use that stimulus money as provided, especially on education, that if the Secretary of Education comes back and says we we did not we did not spend this money the way it was intended to be spent. And, uh, you know, I'm getting calls from, from my district and other districts that, that, uh, you, you have, that we have complete control over the stimulus money and targeted monies to certain school districts are not going to get the full compensation that they were, they were directed by the, sec by, by the stimulus package under the education part of the stimulus package that if he comes back after we vote on this bill, comes back and says we did not work do, do the process as it was intended, that we're looking at a $3.2 billion shortfall just on the education part of it. I'm not talking about anything else. And then that, uh, you know, that, uh, that concerns me. That, that really concerns me. If we're going to go leave here, he comes back with a letter or an order that says we, the, what we did was wrong and we're, we're, we're looking at a $3.2 billion shortfall during the interim. In, in your own words, you said we might have to come back here in a special session. You know, I, I, I heard exactly what Senator Shapley said. And that concerns me, uh, Senator Ogden. What, I mean, I'd, I'd like to, are you willing to, to, to uh, roll the dice, so to speak, and say that we're doing the right thing, yet this letter is quite the opposite, and the Secretary of Education comes later and rules against us. Well, Senator, we're not rolling the dice. We are um, uh, trying under our constitutional um, duties. We've got 141 days to meet and pass a budget. Um, we're right in the last um, half of that session. We don't have much choice but to make the best judgment we can about this statute and move forward. I will, I will tell you this, that um, I will, when this bill gets to conference, I'll be working with the House to basically improve the mechanisms that are already in the bill that would address um, your concern that if dot to dot happens then kind of things so that uh, we don't have to come down here in a special session. But at the end of the day, um, I, if we have to come down here in a special session, we have to come down here in a special session. I can assure you this, we've done the best that we can, we can with the information that's officially available to us to, to write a budget that is, is not only um, good for the people of the state of Texas, but, was, but is also consistent with all the rules and the regulations that uh, are uh, tied to this money. Senator, I, I understand, but I saw the signatures on this, on this letter, and it, it has a congressman that drafted the stimulus package. Huh? And, and I, I would think that they'd, if they drafted the package and know how it's supposed to work, and they've drafted this letter that Senator Shapley has, and obviously they know what they're talking about, and that, 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 that's what concerns me, Senator, to, to receive a letter like this, well, I'm concerned too. Well, and, and it just you know it's it's a big issue, and uh, I think if if if, uh, if we use the funds the way it, the the way it intentionally was was uh, intended to use these funds, and then now the, 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 there's a, a question here at the midnight hour when we're going to suspend and vote on this bill. That that's that's my my concern. Senator Shapley brings up a good issue, the smart issue. I just hate you know, and as far as when we started this thing on general revenue, you know, how much was set and how much supplanted, like Senator Ellis uh, was asking, is supplanted in the educational pro uh, uh, part of, of, uh, of, the, uh, of the budget bill that you're presenting today. 
Uh, how much has that uh, been taken away, supplant with the stimulus money and taken away, redirected somewhere else with, with some other money if that's to be found out, if we find that out, or the, the Secretary of Education find out that some of the cash that we originally intended without the stimulus money, intended for uh, the education part of this bill, that it was redirected somewhere else, whether it's a rainy day fund or some of the some of the bills that are on the floor that uh, uh, don't. Uh, that, let me that, correct you there. Nothing was redirected to the okay. rainy day fund. I'm just quite that. That's that, that's some of the some of the things that are coming forward. But the the main thing is but the letter. I I don't know, um, Senator. The total amount of money that's in question. I mean, the, I I don't think the letter. Uh, attacks everything that we've done with the federal stimulus money. I don't think it attacks or criticizes everything we've done with the federal stimulus money inside the education. It's 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 my guess that if you really whittle this da this argument down, the total amount of money that's involved in the argument is is not more than 500 million. It's not 3.3. .3. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 